All right, this is Reggie. So the good things you have going on here before we made any comments, you have a, a good reach forward and you got a comfortable breathing rhythm. So those two things are, are very good. Your hips are a little low and you'll see that better when we do the underwater angle. And that's because you're keeping your, your at this point you're keeping your head up a little high. So it's like your head's not totally out of the water but it's pretty high and that'll make your lower body go lower. And when that happens it creates more drag or more resistance. So it's actually a little harder to swim. You have to work a little harder to swim like this. So the first thing we worked on was getting your head down and getting your hips up. see kind of the difference in your lower body to your upper body there. You're doing a pretty good uh, complete stroke. Uh, at the end of the video I got some freeze frames or still shots that will show you uh, what's good and, and what can be improved with the, the way you're pulling through the water. So uh, that high elbow catch is you know, it's going to be the best thing for you to do on the underwater pull. That requires you, you kind of rotate your shoulder up and internally, and then it'll bring your elbow up. Or what it really does is bring your hand and forearm down or vertical uh, early in the stroke, which creates a lot of leverage so you can pull through the water well. So you see how your hips are a little low and your head, your head is high here? That, that just creates uh, more work for you. And your, your pull there starts out good and then your hand and forearm angle under your body quite a bit. And so what's, what's going on with that pull is that you're using your biceps a lot to, to pull through the water. Where what you really want to use is your lats. And to use your lats, you're going to want to keep your, your arms kind of outside from your body, so not under your body, but outside the line of your body. And we did, uh, we did, I think, catch-up drill and one-arm drill to, to work on that. And to fix the hip issue, you basically just have to keep your head down or push your head lower. Uh, a good reminder for that is to look down at the bottom of the pool when you're swimming. And then here you can just see how sometimes your hands go, especially with that left arm, goes you know way under your body when you're turning to breathe, so that'll, that'll just take some practice. Just body position, keeping the head down. So here, putting your head down, see how your hips have come up quite a bit. This is a more streamlined position, so ultimately it's going to be less effort to swim with this sort of body position. It, it takes a little bit of practice, you, know, it, you can see it's thrown off your, uh, your arms just slightly. Okay. But you're still doing a good job of extending forward here. But if you you know keep practicing like this, uh, do uh, the one arm drill, the catch up drill, and you know work on body position. You've got the breathing down, and then work on um, work on the stroke or the pull, and, and just keep practicing. Um, you're just going to get stronger and stronger as time goes on. And th this is exactly how you do one arm drill. You're getting a good reach forward and then I can see you getting some of the catch there. So that's good practice. That's good. No, you're, you're doing pretty good. Your, your position here is all right. There's a tool called uh, the Tech Paddle. It's T E C H P A D D L E dot com. Uh, it's basically a forearm paddle. That could be something that's really useful for you. It's about twenty-five dollars. Uh, it, it 
helps you get the proper catch position. Uh, the early vertical form is how that, that fellow references it. And uh, that's really what you're going for. You want your hand and your forearm to go vertical early in the stroke so that you get a lot of leverage. So here you can see good reach forward, your arm is, is extending well. And then you start pulling. This first part, part of the pull is what I call a straight arm pull, so there's not much bend in your elbow relative like to up and down on the forearm. There's bend internally, uh, which uses your bicep more. So you can see how, how much that rotated under your torso. So you don't want it to go like that. You, when you see it from the side, you'd want to see your hand and your forearm at all times, basically just directly up and down like that, but even you know all the, all the way through the stroke. And then pretty much the same thing on the right side. Uh, you don't pull quite as far under your body here. And this is before we made any comments, so you can see that your hips and legs are pretty low. And then pulling kind of straight down. There you got a little bit of a catch angle there. You notice the different angle at your hand, your hand and forearm relative to the upper arm. And then you start to pull in under your body a bit. So body position and then working on the catch, those are your two main things.